Explain to me why it's not about lifestyle, given that 99% of all people who are obese, I would think, I would argue, from what we know, have got to that place because they've eaten too much and probably not had enough exercise. Well, I believe it's not necessarily a choice people make. It, it can be a set of circumstances. Well, you choose what to eat and you choose yeah, how much to exercise, right? Here's the, 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 the role of, of society, the, the way we eat has changed considerably. You know, there never used to be fast food available, so when it's available... Yeah, but you have a choices. choice with that, don't you? You have you, a choice you, you have with a it. choice now, Steve, but years ago... It's like you have a choice whether to eat a vegan sausage or not. Right. Yes. Mm. I disagree. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree you have a choice, but in the years gone by when I was younger, for example, fast food wasn't around. It is now around. It's everywhere you go. People work 10, 12, 14 hours Sure, a but day. there are large clubs available which I could use to go and mug people in the street, but I don't take them and go and mug people in the street. So at what point does your own personal choice come into this? Well, I mean, you have, you I, you know, I go past... When I go to... I went through an airport, Stansted at the weekend, right? And, like all airports now, there are gigantic... Toblerone bars. I've no idea why. They're about this big, and you can either buy, you know, three for your ten or whatever ridiculous deal they have, and make yourself fatter, mm -hmm. or you can walk past mm -hmm. and eat a kale salad. I mean, you have a clear choice. You have a clear choice, but for example, you've just said you've overindulged over Christmas. Maybe you're one of those people who don't lose weight easily. Once you've gone that far, you continue to eat, you continue to stretch mm -hmm. your stomach, so that each time you eat, you require more stuff. How did it's you, in the end, though? How did you, in the end? determined that you had to lose a lot of weight? Because I wasn't feeling very well. Back to the point about it's a crisis in the NHS. Yeah. Now, if I'd not had the help or sought the help that I sought at the time, I had bariatric surgery, not, mm. not a gastric band, quite a radical thing to do. Had I not have done that, then I would be costing the NHS an awful yeah. lot you more You didn't money do that now. because anyone classified it as a disease. You did it because you looked in the mirror, presumably, one day and went, this is no, making me I, ill. No, I did it because I was, yeah, because I was ill. I was be, So I why was, do we need to classify it as a disease? You were able to find the willpower to help. take action. People get help. Why, why now do we give help to smokers? Why do we offer nicotine packs? Yeah. Why do we give people help like that? Because they became addicted at an earlier yeah. stage Steve. in their life. But so we the, do, hang but on, we Steve, do, Steve, but Steve we do. the Royal Go College on. of Physicians says it is more likely that we can tackle obesity if we do class mm. it as a disease. Yeah. The King's Fund don't. Now, Sue, the health, so, the health, Sue that, talks about don't. the comparison with smoking. Yeah. Smoking is a lifestyle choice yes. and that becomes an addiction yes. and causes diseases, emphysema, lung yeah. cancer, and yeah. simply not being fit enough. Alcohol, drinking is a lifestyle choice, causes diseases, which also put a huge burden on the NHS. Isn't, aren't they exactly the same as eating well, too much, which becomes an addiction, and then causes obesity, which is a disease? Well, it might be. And what, what my response to that would be is that in this country, we have got to get far stronger on Fat. We are normalising fat. You know, now we're saying it's a disease. Steve, it is. Hang on a minute. I, I, it is a great excuse well, to give people. It is a disease, hang on. isn't it? Because it hang causes on, I'll all finish. sorts let him, let him of health let him problems. Have finish. Let me finish. Well, that's so because, ironic for you to say. All right. It's because New Year, and it's a Somebody dangerous thing to say. Listen, this is the important bit, right? It's really dangerous because if you're saying to people, imagine waking up this morning, and you're saying to little Charlie, "Oh, it's a shame you've got a disease because you're fat." It's well, not well, about we having can't a start telling children to go back. It's about Listen, if providing we... help and support to people. Mm. I was lucky enough to be able to afford to have bariatric surgery. There's ha thousands of people that can't do that. You help people in your own business to, to encourage them to lose weight, you fat shame them, but you give them that mental support that others don't, don't have. We need because a bit they cannot of, don't afford we need to do a bit it. of fat shaming, really? I mean, we've got the worst Does that obesity. Help? Well, let me ex put, explain to you why I say that. We have the worst obesity numbers now in Europe. But what we, we are have? a very fat. Country, I don't disagree with, with you. With a lot of very sedentary, fat people. Mm -hmm. right? I don't disagree. And all it seems to me is that the, the debate is now moving away from come on, get off the couch, get fit, mm -hmm. eat healthier, to let's find an excuse. Piers, if you let's fat blame shame, it on if you disease. Fat shame people and then ask them to go but to the gym, it's shame never going to happen. Let's Sue have her say. No, she's she's having a lot to say. say. No, she's having a lot to say. I think <laughs> he's got a point. Yeah, but let's Sue reply to it. Yes, I know that, but what is this fat shame? It gets on my nerves, all this. What is this fat shame? Did you know cancer research were called fat shamers? Well, it's ridiculous. Um, okay, you okay. said you, you, said you don't want to Steve. tell Johnny that he's got yeah. a disease. Steve, it's Johnny a word. might go to primary school and get fat shamed, and it's more likely that we can help him if we treat him that he's got the a point disease. Time or, better or, or as a concerned the parents, parents, you give Johnny yes. better food and make him exercise. Yes, right? yes. you take responsibility as parents. Guys, can we just go back to where we started a minute ago, where I said 
if you start shaming people, and fat shame is a word you use, Steve, not me, um, if you start shaming people, then you will never get people. But I believe in people. fat shaming, because I think well, it works. Well, great, Piers, you believe in a lot of things I don't believe well, in. Well, no, it sent me to the gym a few times over the years, and that's it will great. send me to that's one fantastic. now. fantastic. But what he's but... saying... No, no, what he's saying is, is to people like, you know... We, we, what I think you're saying, Piers, is we are normalising it. Look at the magazine with tests. Holiday, yeah, ridiculous, holiday. Ridiculous. Absolute nonsense. Glamorising morbid Glamorizing obesity. It. Personally, I don't like it. I wouldn't do that. Mm. But what I am saying to you is, if you start to make people feel bad about the way they look, they will never go into a gym and exercise. I'd see, on weight, though, I don't agree, because I think the thing about weight is, actually, you do need people around you to say, you know what, you're chunking up a bit. Do you time think, to, time do to you lose think, some weight, do you think get healthy. Comes, well, you do, you do. Yeah, do you and think actually, tough as love as is the best kind of love. I, I, I actually agree with that, but you need to tell Donald Trump that, because he's piled it on. But Donald Trump, oddly, is fit. I'll tell you why. He's never had an alcoholic drink, he's mm. never had a cigarette, and he's never had any drugs, right? So, back to Being the point, oddly, then. Your, your definition of obesity... Guy, your definition of obesity, where BMI is everything, might not be the right one. The point I'm making is that nowadays... People need more help to do it. There is more... Yeah. No, wait a minute. This government See, has people given... definitely need more help, let don't me, they? Let, well, let me answer. Let me answer. Of course we've got to help people. We have never had so much health education in mm. this country. You go on to Google right. and type what to eat to be slim, over 10 million results. Mm. What we need is a change of... Uh, right from education at school onwards, right? Here's the big problem. It's state schools in this country now, where the majority of kids are educated, if they, if they get an hour of sport a week, they're lucky, mm -hmm. right? It is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I said to successive prime ministers for donkey's years, bring in compulsory 90 minutes or two hours of sport and exercise into the school curriculum every single day. And that's Don't great. leave it to feckless that, parents. That's great. Right? Bring yes, it in. That is fantastic. Bring it into but it's school. not happening. So get what else young can you people do? To get there is a the generation idea of people of, of my age and younger yeah. no, who don't no, have no, that no. opportunity. Mm -hmm. What? That, no. Oh, what? The ch uh, children are the responsibility of a parent, not a teacher. Well, both. Actually. Let's get yeah. that They're right. Both. They're if, both. Uh, no, They're well, both. they might be in your opinion, but in mine... We well, don't think teachers are responsibility for children. I think... The not guys, their, not their weight. Uh, it's an obesity. They're, obesity. They're there to it's teach society. the three R's. Come on. Is it... School, schools, I think, teach all sorts of things for kids. They should also, I think, be finding time to keep them fit when they're at school. Mm -hmm. And parents, when they go home, should be responsible for them I being fit at home and eating healthily, right? I absolutely but let's agree stop. with you. We're but the point I'm making is it, it now, has to be a collaboration. Culture. It has to it's be, always somebody else's fault. It has fault. to be a collaboration. Stop gorging on fat food. I don't stop. eat fat food. Not you. <laughs> you lost all this weight. Yeah. No, I didn't lose it by myself. She's I had bariatric surgery. I'm not against people getting help, but here's the problem with it. If you basically part the responsibility away from yourself... You've literally, this morning, eaten a full English breakfast well, I have never. on camera. Well, you know I have to. If you could get no, your know, shot off, you boiled into it. I ate one sausage. Well, because you had to talk, uh, All right, well, look, here's another one. Yeah. Oh. Just give me another one. Now, I'm, I'm eating a full English breakfast. Oh, my goodness, there's four sausages on that. Nothing wrong with sausages. Nothing there, wrong with sausages. There is... Piers, right. you are total hypocrites. On the one hand, what? you are telling people not to gorge on fatty, junky food, and on the other hand, it's you are piling into a full English. There are probably almost as many calories in that one plate of I food as of you it. need mm. in an entire I've day. I've one sausage at 6 o'clock, second one now. Nothing wrong with Great British sausages You're just farm arguing in Great two British farm, completely right? different things. I will not stand up for the farmers of this country who produce fine produce like this. Can we go to Morgan's Meat for a moment, please? My goodness. Can we say that? That is not going to make you fit We've had all the or vegan, healthy. All the vegans trying to persuade us that and meat is terrible. And you wanted me to fat shame you this morning. I tell you what, you cannot eat this yeah. this morning oh, you and don't expect eat, not you don't to be eat anything. fat shamed. You don't eat anything. You don't even do caffeine anymore. You what, it's over. Like, quite like that taste <laughs> you look, of egg. Starving. Absolutely <laughs> starving. But we've got Morgan's meat over there. Fine British produce, right? There is nothing wrong with wholesome, yeah, that, protein in moderation. filling meat. Yes. Right, that's how human but beings came to be. not a 2,000 calorie meat. full English breakfast. When you are talking about obesity, what a problem it is, and the fact no, that obesity parents is not and about, children... Obesity problem is not about eating meat. ...are not doing the, the right thing. The obesity problem is it's, about having enough exercise and healthy food in your but diet. But that's great. It's the a choice. It can be very choice. healthy food. It is a choice.